Good afternoon, I'm Damon Maloney. New at 4 o'clock, calls for major job cuts at NASA Glenn Research Center and the Neil Armstrong Test Facility in Sandusky. News 5's Clay Lepard has learned that the White House's proposed budget calls for cutting more than 500 NASA jobs right here in Northeast Ohio over the next year. This is a preliminary budget proposal, but if it happens and there's no changes made to it, that amounts to cutting almost 40% of NASA's federal employees here in Northeast Ohio. Three, two, one, boosters in ignition and liftoff of Artemis One. As the push for the moon and ultimately Mars continues, the work on the ground here at NASA Glenn looks to be scaled back as part of the agency's proposed budget, which News 5 obtained and confirmed. Right now, Glenn employs about 1,400 civil servants. This proposal calls for trimming that number to 837. A more detailed look at the budget shows Glenn's aeronautics program would be just about cut in half from about 400 to 182. We've highlighted Glenn's Aeronautics Division over the years, from a push to bring back commercial supersonic flight over the continental United States to helping map out a highway in the sky with more drones and self-driving aircrafts. Concerning cuts for Beju Shaw at the Greater Cleveland Partnership. Cutting back on innovation, we think is not only bad from a job loss perspective, but in terms of the types of innovations that NASA Glenn in particular creates, not only for their agency, but for the world, has significant ramifications. A spokesperson at NASA's headquarters emphasized with News 5 that this budget is not finalized and could change as lawmakers see fit. However, NASA's acting administrator did say in the budget, quote, we must continue to be responsible stewards of taxpayer dollars. That means making strategic decisions, including scaling back or discontinuing ineffective efforts not aligned with our moon and Mars exploration priorities. And again, this is a proposed NASA budget. Lawmakers will likely make tweaks before finalizing on it. And a lot of employees here that we spoke with who did not want to go on camera expressed concern about if this could happen. Outside NASA Glenn Research Center, Clay Lepard, News 5. So what does this mean for Ohio's push for NASA's headquarters to be moved from Washington, D.C. to Northeast Ohio? Clay will have much more on that tonight on News 5 at 6.